Good morning. I'm Eric Svensson, an associate professor at Tulane University, and I'm here with Oleg and Ogensagen to talk about our paper on behalf of our other authors titled The Assessment of Particulate Matter Levels in Vulnerable Communities in North Charleston, South Carolina, prior to port expansion. As the title suggests, the Port of Charleston is one of the busier ports in the United States, and it is going to be expanded due to the the increased traffic coming at the Panama Canal in the, in the near future. When this new traffic comes online, there will be about seven to 10,000 new trucks per day that will be driving in and out of the communities of North Charleston near the uh, new port. So this study is designed to look at the, uh, the air pollution trends over the last 40 or 50 years and also look at the local distribution of air pollution so that if there's any increase in air pollution, uh, after this new port expansion, we'll be able to assess that and also hopefully mitigate whatever might happen as a result of this new port expansion. I will let Dr. Ugun Seiken take it from there. Our study areas are Akabi, Chikura, Cherokee, Howard, and Union Heights. We did a saturation study to determine spatial variability of PM in local Charleston Net communities. With the BGI sampler, PM samples were collected for 24 hours comparable to federal reference metal protocol. We also did a gravimetric analysis of the particulate matter filter sample following the EPA protocol. Our results show that PM10 annual average ranges from 17 microgram per meter cube to 55 microgram per meter cube from 1982 to 2006. And in the case of PM2.5, the annual average ranges from 11 microgram per meter cube to 30.5 meter per microgram cube between 1999 and 2006. And this slide is showing our saturation study as well as the study location. And these are the results that are showing the trends in annual PM10 and PM2.5. Our studies of significant health importance because it shows here pollution from local sources. And we've concluded that high level of particulate matter concentration can increase health burden among the residents. In fact, there is a potential for increased cardiovascular risk among the residents of metropolitan Charleston. According to the environmental impact assessment that was done in 2005, a prediction of 47 microgram per meter cube was made due to the port expansion. And previous studies in California, in other countries like Spain and Turkey, has also shown that activities will increase atmospheric level of particulate matter in these communities. So over the last 40 or 50 years, the air pollution in the Charleston Net communities has improved dramatically. And we would like to see that stay the way it is and not increase dramatically as the port expands. So it is our hope that we will be able to continue monitoring the air pollution within the Net communities and assess any additional impacts that the port expansion might have so that there might be this beneficial impact of the new port expansion and the jobs associated with it without the detrimental effects of adverse air pollution in the community. Mm -hmm.